All species of plants and animals are divided into groups for classification. Binomial nomenclature is the formal system that utilizes Latin names to categorize each plant and animal by genus and species. For example, Pinus tita is the Latin name for one of the most important tree species in Alabama, the loblolly pine. Although plants and animals are often referred to by common names, common names may vary from place to place, and some plants may have multiple common names. Dendrology is the identification and systematic classification of trees. Differentiation of trees is based on the distinguishing characteristics of each species. There are two basic types of trees, coniferous and deciduous. Conifers' leaves are actually needles and remain green throughout the year. In reality, a portion of a conifer's needles are shed during the year, but some remain, giving the appearance of being evergreen. Deciduous trees have true leaves that drop from the tree during the fall. Tree species may be identified by observing a number of characteristics of a tree. Tree characteristics often used for identification include leaves, bark, fruit, buds, branch structure, and overall form of the tree. Leaves of a tree are examined for their many characteristics like shape, arrangement, composition, and margin. Leaves are often the best characteristic to use to identify a tree. For a deciduous tree in the winter, leaves are often unavailable, so other characteristics must be observed. Bark is observed for color and texture. Fruit is reviewed to determine type such as poem, berry, droop, nut, capsule, samara, legume, and nutlets. Additionally, the twig and overall form of the tree can often provide clues to the species' identity. Many good field guides are available, which will help you systematically evaluate various characteristics of a tree in order to determine the species. Typical descriptions provided for most trees include the features commonly observed for that species. It's important to note that attributes such as leaves, tree form, and mature size can vary from site to site. Because of this variation, multiple characteristics should be reviewed when trying to determine tree species.